One fine morning, Cody awoke bright and early, excited about the day ahead. And why was Cody so excited about this day? Well, because he and his best friend, Raccoon, had big plans to take the red canoe out of the lake for another adventure. As Cody arrived at the lake, he found Raccoon had arrived early and was waiting for him. Good morning, Raccoon, Cody exclaimed happily. Look, Cody, in the red canoe, a bird, replied Raccoon. Cody was shocked to see that they had a surprise guest sitting in the red canoe. That bird is a heron, said Cody. Why is a heron sitting in the red canoe? I don't know. I didn't put it there replied Raccoon. Cody pondered their feathery predicament for a moment. Well, we can't very well go for an adventure while a heron is sitting in the red canoe, he said. Even without that enormous nest, we couldn't possibly all fit. Then Cody came up with a plan. I've got it, he exclaimed. Cody ran towards the heron, waving his arms and shouting, Shoo! Shoo! Heron! Shoo! But the heron didn't shoo. The heron didn't take any notice of Cody at all. It's not working, said Cody. Raccoon smiled. That's okay, Cody. I have a plan. Cody listened carefully. He liked a good plan. The plan is we take this paddle and we use it to pry the heron and the nest out of the red canoe. Cody didn't like this plan at all. Oh, no, said Cody. We shouldn't force the heron out. Maybe there's a way we can get the heron to leave on its own. While Cody and Raccoon thought really hard about how to make the heron leave on its own, their good friend Otter arrived. He was looking for something fun and exciting to do. Hey, fellas, said Otter happily. What are you thinking so hard about? Why do you look so down? Why is there a heron in the red canoe? We don't know why, replied Cody. We're trying to think up a way to kindly have it leave. Otter thought about Cody and Raccoon's problem for a brief moment. How about offering it bird seed? He asked. Birds love bird seed. Cody liked this plan very much. So, Cody found himself a big sack of bird seed and walking backwards from the heron, he scattered the seeds on the ground. This is a great plan, said Cody happily. Birds love bird seed. But the heron took no notice of Cody and his bird seed. However, the same could not be said for the other birds of Spirit Lake. A raven fluttered from the sky and helped himself to some seed. No, raven, these aren't for you said Cody sternly. Then some happy chickadees hopped and fluttered around him, eating cheerfully. No, chickadees, you can have some later. Stop! Cody realized that bird seed was not the way to go. But this didn't get Cody down. Don't worry, guys, he said cheerfully. I have one more plan to try. We're going to throw the heron a farewell party. So Cody, Raccoon, and Otter threw the heron a big party, complete with balloons, a cake, and a huge banner that had Farewell Heron, We'll Miss You painted on it. 
all the forest friends were in attendance and having a great time. But the heron took no notice at all. Finally, it was Cody's time to give the heron the surprise they made, a giant farewell card with goodbye written on the front. And on the inside, every one of the forest friends had signed their name. But the heron didn't care about the card. Again, the heron hardly took any notice at all. Just as Cody was about to suggest cutting up the cake, he noticed that Raccoon was no longer at the party. Raccoon was sitting all alone. Cody walked over to Raccoon, who was looking very sad. Is everything okay? Cody asked. You left the party. I guess, said Raccoon sadly. It's just that, well, I'm going to miss the heron. Cody put his arm around Raccoon and smiled. It'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that time it sat in the red canoe and ruined our adventure? Laughed Raccoon. <laughs> Feeling all around better after their heartfelt talk, Cody and Raccoon headed back to the party. As evening came, all the forest friends had eaten their fill of cake and headed home. But not the heron. Cody, Raccoon, and Otter were beginning to suspect that not only did the heron have little respect for other people's property, but also did not know when it was time to leave a party. Maybe we need to go back to my paddle plan, suggested Raccoon. No, said Cody. What we need to do is... And then, before Cody could even finish his thought, the heron let out a croaky squawk and flew off into the sky. Excited, the three friends quickly ran over to the red canoe, only to find that the heron had left something behind. What are those? asked Raccoon. Those are eggs, replied Cody. Raccoon rubbed his belly. Mmm, eggs. No, no, said Cody. These aren't eggs for eating. These eggs have baby herons inside. In fact, we shouldn't even move them until after they've hatched. Over the following weeks, the heron returned to sit on the eggs as Cody, Otter, and, to a lesser degree, Raccoon waited patiently for the big day that the baby herons would hatch. Then, one day, it finally happened. The baby herons made their long-awaited appearance as they pecked their way out of their colorful eggs. And what cute baby herons they were! Cody brought the heron another card. This time, it had pictures of balloons and said, Congratulations on the front. And Cody, Raccoon, and Otter were happy that they were able to see the new baby herons hatch. For a short while, anyway. But Cody, said Raccoon quietly, Now, there are four herons in the red canoe. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.